What's up, Copperheads fans, and welcome to the next episode of Inside Pitch. On the last Inside Pitch, we talked to bat expert Andrew Pierce, who told us a little bit about the difference between aluminum bats and wood bats. Well, today I'm talking with two of the best hitters on the Copperhead team, Matt Glom and Blaze Salter. How are you guys doing? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Um, talk a little bit about the transition between aluminum bats and wood bats. Uh, I didn't really have that big of a time or a tough time going with the transition just because I like hitting with wood, bot, wood bats a lot more than metal, so it wasn't a problem for me. Yeah, same with me. I'm, uh, I've always felt more comfortable hitting with wood bats, honestly, than aluminum. I uh, kind of like to feel more of it. You can feel when you hit the ball, and uh, so I've always, I always liked using wood. It just feels a lot more natural. Why is that? Because in high school and college, you guys hit with aluminum bats. When have you ever really used wood bats? The whole really off season, really leading up to uh, high school, my dad always told me to swing wood bat, you know, because it's, wood bats are usually a little heavier than uh, aluminum bats. So let's say if you train with the wood bat the whole off season, you know, once you go and swing the aluminum bat, it seems a little bit lighter. Primarily what you want to train with is wood bats, just because it really teaches you to stay inside the ball. Because with metal bats, they don't break like they do with wood bats. So, I mean, you really got to square everything up with a wood bat and hit it in the sweet spot. Now, Blaze, you came from a family of baseball players, and you were even drafted by the Tigers coming out of high school, but you decided not to go. Uh, why did you decide not to go, and what was it like being drafted? Uh, being drafted I was probably one of the you know, biggest highlights of my life. It made it even more special that I was drafted by my hometown team, the Detroit Tigers. But, uh, I mean, I always knew I wanted to go to college first. You know, I, I feel like like my, da my dad and my grandpa always say professional baseball can wait, you know, for they'll always, they'll always be there if you're a good player and stuff. But, uh, you know, I felt college was a, you know, a better uh, option at the time. I wanted to experience and grow up a little bit more. Okay. And, Glom, you came from California all the way to Ohio. What was the adjustment like for you? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot different out here than California is. I mean, mainly the weather. You see thunderstorms that are just ridiculous, lightning striking everywhere. But, I mean, it really hasn't been a tough adjustment. There's a lot of good guys on this team. They really took me in right from the second I got here. So it's been a lot of fun. Now, you both just finished your first year of collegiate baseball. Um, what was the transition from high school to collegiate for you? I came from a good high school. It's good. Uh, prepared me pretty well, but still is a big adjustment, you know, seeing Consistent, consistent, good pitching on, on an everyday basis. In high school, you'll see here and there you'll see a good pitcher, but college every day there's a good arm going out there. So I mean, that was one uh, big uh, transition period for me. Yeah, I, I definitely thought the game speed picked up a lot, a lot more than it does in high school. I mean, you really gotta go with the flow of the game and really pick up the pace if you want to be successful in college. I mean, it's a lot different than high school. What do you take from this experience? Is your first summer league? Take a uh, you know, a lot of friends, a new friends that I uh, met from all across the country. I think next year I'm playing Mike, my son, are playing Glom and Brizantine School next year. So mm -hmm. it's good, it's good, you know, to, uh, you know, meet friends like this in the summer and uh, see each other, you know, down the road somewhere. So that's what I'm going to take. Yeah, I think it's just fun to meet kids from all over the country in different programs and kind of learn about what their school's like and just kind of share information and what their experience is like. So. All right, well, thanks for talking to me, guys. Yeah, no problem. problem. The Copperheads are all about learning and improving, and as these guys said, that's what they do during the Summer League to improve for their next season of collegiate baseball. Until next time, I'm Sarah Valone.